update on how to set up your world in Blender Octane. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm in a fresh new scene inside of here. What I'm going to do is come into my world settings and I'm going to quickly just show this is the kind of my old setup that I had going here on the world setup here. Now, I did watch a new video from one of our members, Scott. He basically put out a new video on how to set up on how he sets it up. And I like his version better. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how we will do that. Start from ground zero. I will delete the stuff that I have here. We'll come in here and then we'll go into an environment texture. Once we have that environment texture, we'll plug that into the environment. From there, what I'm going to do is duplicate this because this was also going to allow us to change the color of our background. So once I have that set up, I'm going to come in here and then we're going to go RGB image. That's going to allow us to add in our HDRI. We're going to go ahead and plug that into the texture. And then from there, I'm going to pop out a UV transform and I'm actually going to disconnect that really quick. And then I'm going to add in a spherical projection. If we go ahead and click on that, let's dive in and quick here and see what we've got going here. But now we're going to plug this projection into the projection, spherical projection, and then we're going to plug this into the spherical uh, transformation. And then I'm going to go ahead and load in the HDRI that I have in here. Here's my HDRI. Make sure your, your gamma is set to one and everything else should be OK to go. And then from here, we're going to take this environment and we're going to plug this into visible environment. And actually, you know what? Let me wait for a moment. I want to quickly just show you what we've got going here. Let's jump out and see what this looks like. All right. So this is what we've got here. We've got our HDRI. We've got everything connected. And this is what I typically see. Now, the thing that is a little bit more better about this setup that Scott's got going here is when I come into the rotation, now the rotation works a lot more proper than it did in the other way that I had it here. If we go into the middle, now we can rotate it and you can see it like it rotates properly, like how it did when we were using cycles. Right. And the vice versa here on the up and down, which I think is really cool. What we want to do, maybe you don't want this background visible, but you like the light that you got going on here. So a quick and easy way to do that and fix that. All we need to do is take this environment texture, plug this into visible environment. And you're like, hang on, I don't see anything. It's not working. You have to come in here and you see visible environment right now. This is not checked. Let's come down to this one here on the texture one that we're using and click background. Oh, there it is. Now we can clearly see we've got the background color. You can come inside of here. You can change your color to whatever color that you want there. That works out fantastic. If you want to learn more about Blender Octane, we've got lots of cool more stuff going on in the Blender Octane school. Links down in the description. Or if you don't want to do that, check out the Discord. We got the Discord up now, and I'm going to be sharing a lot of this stuff inside of the Discord, and you can learn Blender Octane.